cardio session. You're going to be working out with me, Savini, and joining me is my workout buddy, Rahul. And today we've got an entire complete body workout that's going to really bring that heart rate up and we're going to burn those calories away as well. Absolutely. It's cardio focused, guys. All right, now make sure that you switch on that energy meter on your device. You know what it does, right? It tracks all your movements. It's going to give you a score and rank at the end of the session. All we ask from you is give you 100%, enjoy the workout and enjoy just being here at this moment. All right, now make sure you also have a bottle of water and a towel handy because you're going to need those, right? So let's get started <laughs> right. with the warm up. All right, guys, we are ready to begin with the warm up. We've got four movements for you and we're going to hit each movement for 30 seconds for two rounds. The first one we're going to be doing is vertical hops. So you're going to be standing in one spot and then you're gonna just hop, hop, and hop, all right? Make sure that you land soft. That's what you need to do for 30 seconds. Let's begin yep. in three, two, one. Let's go, guys. Like Rahul mentioned, stay light on your feet. You're landing on your toes. Your knees are soft. Right, guys, make sure that your torso is upright. You're not leaning over. You're gonna fall to forward, all right? Use your hands to create that slight momentum. And done in three, two, one. Whew. Okay, next up we've got the hip opener. So for this, we're gonna get down on the ground. Your knees facing upwards towards the ceiling. You can keep your palms next to your hips. And then from here, you're gonna drop both the knees down to one side where the back knee is close to the front heel and repeat the same thing on the other side. Try and make sure that your torso is always facing forward. Ready? All right, let's do this. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice and easy. No rush on this. Feel your hips opening out. Keep a check on that breathing. Keep going, guys. Go slow. And we're done in three, two, and one. Okay. okay. Right, we're gonna stay on the floor for the third movement. We're gonna do the kneeling adductor, thread the needle. So it's not only gonna work on mobility of the lower body, but also work on thoracic spine as well. All right, we're gonna show you this uh, in the front view. So we need may you know, probably do this uh, side view, all right? So I'm gonna start with my left knee, knelt my right leg outside, both my palms forward. I'm gonna rock back, and as I rock back, I'm gonna drive, put my hand in between, and as I come forward, I'm gonna lift my right arm over the head. And that's how we do the kneeling adductor thread the needle. 30 seconds one side, 30 on the other. So let's go slow for this one, yeah? Okay, face forward. Um, I think we should face each other. Right? Okay. okay. So let's go yeah. in three, two, and one, guys. As you come forward, breathe out. Breathe in as you rock back. And go slow, guys. You hit about seven to eight good reps. That's awesome. Gonna feel that in your inner thighs, that lower body, as well as your upper back. Open your chest out and we're gonna switch in three, two, and one. Okay. All right. Let's go. Remember that breathing. Exhale as your hands go over towards the ceiling. I'm gonna go slow here. Feel that activation in all those muscles. And the joints as well, right? Very important to prime your body. And that's done in three, two, and one. Okay. <laughs> Gotta complete that rep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one that we've got is a little bit of core activation and it has that element of full body conditioning as well. We're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Gonna set up for this, palms directly under your shoulders, step onto your toes, entire body in one line in that high plank. From here, bring one knee forward, hop and switch knees. 
and you're gonna run as fast as you can in place try and keep that upper body stable ready absolutely guys all right three two and one 30 seconds mountain climbers core activation keep breathing okay and maintain a flat back guys try not to lift your hips too high like this all right and if you want to slow it down you can do some step climbers as well okay keep going guys come on and we're done in three two and one okay excellent work one round of warm-up done one more round to go absolutely so one more round guys get ready just take about five to you know six seconds and then we're gonna begin with the next round the last round okay we're good yeah three two and one vertical hops Come on, guys. If you want to challenge yourself, more than welcome to jump a little higher. Land soft on your toes. Using those arms for extra momentum. Bringing that heart rate up. And we're done in three, two, and one. Wow. Ooh. Who else felt it was a little tough now, all right? It was. But, but good, okay? Now let's focus on hip openers. Let's get down onto the floor, get ready. Remember, as soon as you mentioned, knees upward, palms on the side or behind. In three, two, and one, let's go. Okay. All right, second round of this, and I'm sure you guys are feeling that you know, you're moving a little better, a little well. That's what a good warm-up routine does to your body. Remember, your torso, your chest facing forward. Just your knees are dropping from one side to the other and we're done in three, two, and one. Big thumbs up, guys. All right, the kneeling adductors, thread the needle coming up. Left yeah. knee bent, right leg outside for me. Palms out, let's go. It's important to have that rocking motion, all right? Back, arms under, forward, arms over. And breathe. This time around, I'm sure you can also feel your body, uh, you know, getting used to that movement, so your range of motion would be a little better. Yes. And we're done in three, two, one. We're gonna switch and begin. And breathe out on top. Give us a nice rotation. All right, guys, feeling well doing well we're going through the same emotions as you guys are and we're feeling awesome and that's done all right Ooh, okay the last one the mountain climbers staying down for this are you ready okay <laughs> <laughs> let's go in three two and one started with easy pace guys and you can pick it up in the last few seconds Come on, knee towards the chest, abs brace. All right, let's make up some pace, shall we? Yep, with you on this one. Come on, run like the wind. <laughs> and we're done in three, two, and one. Whoa. Whew. All right, then. okay, I'm already feeling that sweat, guys, but that's good. That's a good warm up, right? Now we are on to the main workout. Yep. So for the main workout, we've got four movements for you. We're gonna do them for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest between each movement and for four rounds, okay? It's gonna be a little tricky, but we're gonna get through this together, right? The first movement that we have is the broad jump to the back pedal. Let's set it up for you. All right. So you're gonna stand at the edge of your mat, move along with us so you understand, get the feel of the movement, and then we're gonna jump right into it for time, yeah? Okay, so from here, 
swing back, jump forward, and then you're just gonna jog back to place. That's the scaled up version, which Rahul's gonna be demonstrating. Scale down, what you can do is maybe break Hop. it down into yeah. two hops, yeah. and then just a light jog back. If that's still a little tricky, what you can do is step forward and then jog back. Wow. Simple? Great stuff. All right. Great way to break down that movement. All right, we'll start with this, and then we move on to each of the workouts, all right? And remember, it's a 20 seconds breather in between, so you get ample time to recover well as well, okay? So broad jump to back pedal for 40 seconds, guys. Scaled up with Raul and scaled up with Sumi. Let's go. Take your pick, guys. Now let's go. <laughs> Three, Boy, yeah. two, and one. <laughs> one jump, two, and we're jogging back. Okay, the key over here is landing soft and in control of the movement. Remember those hops that we did? You're really primed up for this movement because of that. Good work, guys. You wanna stay on your toes when you're jogging back? A few more seconds. In fact, 10 more seconds. <laughs> Come on, last 10 seconds of work here. And we're done in three, two, and one. Wow. Perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. <laughs> that was really good stuff, guys. Next up, we got something more explosive for you. Halo slams, all right? You gotta think that you're holding probably a med ball, all right? And you're gonna be slamming it down, up, over, slam it down. So you wanna scale it down without the jump. Make sure that your movement is on point, 100% effort, all right? Okay. Let's go for it in three, two, and one. <sighs> Breathing out and slamming. <sighs> Lift and slam. Watch closely when you're doing this at the end, you've got a slight bend of the knees, right? A small hinge, not really a squat, but just to break that movement. Come on, guys. Don't slow down now. Let's not slow down. Come down, powerful. We've got 10 seconds here. Yeah. Come on. Nice overhead rotation and down. We're done in three, two, and one. Woo. Wow, mighty good, guys. That was a great one. And of course, now we've got some lower body work for you with the lateral lunge. So for this, gonna set you up, move along with us, and let's get started. Right leg out, gonna do a lunge, and stand up tall, repeat the same on the other side, yeah? Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. In three, two, and one. If you're scaling this down, you can cut that range of motion, cut the depth of the movement so that you are comfortable. I'm gonna really target your glutes, your inner thighs here. You're Good breathing work. out yeah. when you're coming up. And it's about balancing as well, right? From here, take a look, one leg. Balance well. Take a look, balance well. 10 more seconds, guys. We're pushing off from that foot that is doing the lunge. And we're done in three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Okay. Guys. Okay, last one. We're gonna do plank with toe touches. We're gonna start at a high plank position. We all know that, right? In the mountain climber, when we did that. From here, we're gonna lift the hips, touch the toe, touch the toe, and then back to plank, and we'll just keep repeating this. All right, for 40 seconds, let's get this going in three, two, and one. If you're scaling, Again, you can cut the range of motion, reach as far as you're comfortable, could be your knee, could be your shin. Yeah, you can start off with, by just touching the knees, then go a little deeper towards the shin, and then all the way towards to your toes. toes. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like a solid plan. Remember, abs tight here. Yeah, if somebody's punching you on the gut, what do you do? You brace them, that's what we want you to do. You know, uh, feel throughout the movement. Come on, guys, a few more reps. And we're done in three, two, and one. 
Okay. Okay. 20 yeah. seconds of a well-deserved breather. We are done with one round. Gonna jump into round number two. Two. Round number two coming up, guys. Broad jump to back pedal. Remember, it's hop, hop or step, step on the scale down. With me on the scale up, make sure you land soft and you give all that energy, guys. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Okay. When you're doing that jump, whether it's the broad jump or these smaller hops, remember, knees soft. And when you're landing, your knees are slightly bent. Using those arms as momentum. All right, I'm making sure that I don't jump all the way <laughs> towards the other mat. 10 more seconds still. Keep breathing. We're almost there. In three, two, and one. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> Hello slams. Powerful, right? Wow. Grab okay. a sip of water if you need to. Wipe yourself off. Set up for the next movement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, this slam's coming up, guys. You know what you gotta do? The med ball in your hand. You feel powerful. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. We're slamming down full power. Core braced. Come on, guys. Keep going. Slam. Slam, halo, halo, <laughs> and slam now. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Get in some good quality reps. We've got about 10 seconds. Almost there. In three, two, and one. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, I didn't do that last rep, but that's okay. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that was insane, guys. Come on, that's your lunch coming up. Get ready, wipe off that sweat. <laughs> All yes. right. Okay. Wow, this is good stuff, guys. Second round, we're almost there. Let's to the go. right. In three, two, and one. Lunge up, lunge on the other side. Push up from that foot. Breathe out on your way up. Like Rahul mentioned, it's all about that balance, that stability. So that means core engaged. Yes. You know, your midsection does a lot of work. And we've taken this for granted, right? I mean, you have a strong core, you can pretty much do a lot of things and generate a lot of power from your core. And it includes right from the hip to that under your, you know, to your diaphragm, even your back. A few more seconds, guys. Four, three, two, and peace, we're good. <laughs> peace, we're good. <laughs> All right, last one, the plank toe touches. We're gonna get down into position. Set yourself up for the movement. Take a deep breath and give us a big smile while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, listen, this is all about improving that spinal health, right? Strengthening it, even your core. So just give your 100% now. Three, two, and one. Round two, so increasing that range of motion a little bit. Reaching for the shins now. When you're coming back from that toe touch, maintain that high plank position. Feel that tightness in your core. Come on, come on guys, come on. Keep going, keep going. We're not giving up, right? Let's not do that. 10 more seconds. Back to that plank. Brace those abs. That's those three, two, and we are good. Woo. Okay, half the battle there. one, right? <laughs> two rounds. <sighs> what do you have to say about this? Feeling amazing, excited to finish off on a high note. So these last two rounds, keep pushing yourself every rep, every second, and work along with us. Yeah, all right, you can, you can, you know, move faster than us as well, or move a tad bit slower, it's all okay. As long as they give you 100%, that's what matters. All right? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, round three, gonna try that broad jump. 
Okay, we Come. gotta watch. All right, we gotta <laughs> watch out unless we bag in the air. Come on. Remember your options. You can still break it down into two hops, just like this, or even step forward and jog back. Wow. And I'm sure even if you do the scale down, it's tough enough, right? Okay, we got less than 10 seconds, guys. Come on. One Five more now. rep. Yeah. And we're done in three, two, and one. Wow. <laughs> this is good, good stuff. All right, Halo Slam's coming up. Okay. We need a breather. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, keep sipping water. Try not to drink too much. Just to sip here and there to help you hydrate and keep you moving, okay? All right, ready? Three, two, and one. Overhead, <sighs> slam down. Halo here, halo again, and a slam. Come on, breathe out on your way down. Generate that power. Use that midsection as well. Stay Adding. focused, guys. Adding that little bit of explosiveness on the scale down as well. Nice. Oops. Come on, 10 more seconds here. All right. Come on, more power. Three, two, one. Time to quit the reps. <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff, guys. Whew, last right. lunch coming up. Shake okay. it out, get ready. <laughs> so for this, you know, Savini and I really like sucker for synchronized movements. So we're trying to synchronize this in all the rounds. So let's see if we can do well here as well. Done. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Breathe out here. Remember, you decide and set the pace of the workout that you're going to be doing. So whether you want to move a little faster or go a little deeper into the movement, you're going to reap those benefits as well, right? Well said. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Keep moving along with us. We've got 10 seconds here. How are you doing? Counting my reps and I'm doing well. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Okay. All right, I think we got one extra on the right, but it's okay. We'll try to balance that out in the next round. The next round. Okay, plank to toe touch. Coming up, guys. Get ready. Onto the floor. All right, what do you say on that scale down? Let's try for the toes this time. Yep, let's do this. In position, three, two, and one. Nice work. Scale as you are comfortable. You know all your options. You just gotta keep moving for those 40 seconds. All right, guys, as you come to that plank, remember to just <laughs> brace those abs, breathe out. And once you breathe out, you'll know that's what bracing the abs is, right? Right. Counting those reps, getting in some great quality reps here. Come on, guys. Almost done in three, two, and one. Cool. Okay. Wow. Okay, three rounds done and dusted. <laughs> oh my God, this is a sweat fest, guys. It's amazing, all right? So this is the last round coming up. You know what you gotta do, right? Give that 10% extra now. Okay, all this while, 100%, let's go 10% higher. Done. Okay, last one. Three, two, and one, let's go. Remember, this is the opportunity to collect all those golden points on that energy meter. Make them explosive, make them big, keep moving, and have some fun while you do that. Breathe out, jog back. Come on. All right, guys, keep going, keep going. Almost there. 10 more seconds. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> the sweat is in the eyes, but it's all right. And we're done in three, two, and let's flex time. 
done. <laughs> Good job, guys. I realized that every round we've done this movement, we've timed it perfectly. We finish that rep when the timer ends exactly. <laughs> Please do that. Good job, guys. Come on. Eight of slams now. Let's do this well. Last one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Breathe out hard. Slam hard. And keep going. You're engaging your entire body here in this one movement. The arms, the shoulders, the lower body, the midsection. Come on. 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. Doing well, doing well. Let's not give up now. A few more, a few more. And we're done. All right. Wow. Okay. Like, you know, I said, we're all going through the same emotions physically and look at us it's it's fun it's fun touching those calories feeling strong and it's just amazing enjoying every rep lateral yep. lunge lateral lunge are we sinking let's... on this one as well yes we are of course in three two and one let's go and remember we're going to try and get that extra rep on the left side to balance it out yes <laughs> come on Nice one. Feel that work on your lower body. Only getting stronger from here. Keep going, keep going, guys. 10, Ten more, seconds. more seconds. Almost there. In three, two, and one. One more. <laughs> on the left. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Last movement coming up for you. And this will finish all the, all the rounds, right? The plank to toe touch. Get ready, guys. You guys have been extremely good. Let's just go for one more movement. And then we're done with this. Okay. In position. Three, two, one. Last 40 seconds of work. Come on. Stick with us. We're getting through this together. All right, guys, you feel that energy? That vibe is good. It's crazy good. Come on. Let's ace this and feel super proud of ourselves after this is done. Keep breathing out. Come on. Few more seconds here. In four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> <laughs> it was wow. insane, guys. Really good stuff. Oh. Okay. All right, guys. Now that we're done with this, what's next? Of course, we've got to give that body a well-deserved cool down, some stretches to relax the muscles. So before we get into that, quickly grab a sip of water, wipe yourself off with the towel, and take a couple of deep breaths. Breathe in and out. One more time, breathe in and out. Okay, the first stretch. Pigeon stretch for your glutes, all right? We're gonna hit 20, 20 seconds on each side. Let's start at the plank position once again. Okay. Take that right leg, mm -hmm. okay? And you wanna make sure it's about 90 degrees. Grab that foot and push the back leg behind as much as you can. Hip flexors facing forward, and you start in this position. If your guys are ready, let's begin the timer in three, two, and one. Holding for 20 seconds here. If you're comfortable here, that's great. If you wanna deepen that stretch a little bit, walk your palms forward and try and, you know, hold that. Okay, guys. I'm gonna stay up here for now. <laughs> Okay, 20 seconds done. Okay, let's Let slowly transition. Left leg forward, hold it here, and let's start the time. Whew. Keep walking that back leg away, deepen that stretch. <laughs> I'm, I'm just 
wondering how much sweat is there. <laughs> okay, good job guys. We're done with this. From here, what do we do next? Okay, from here we're going to stay in that kneeling position and continue with the shoulder stretch. So for that, we're going to get one arm around and pull from the elbow, pull towards your body. We're going to stay here for 20 seconds. All right, let's start. Yep. Remember when you're doing this, you want to keep facing forward. Sometimes you may end up, you know, doing that, but keep a check on it and just hold here. We're going to switch, other hand and hold. Breathe and breathe out. What a workout, guys. It was amazing. It sure was. Almost done here. And that's done. All right, last one. We're going to do the seated hamstring stretch. We call it the seated forward fold as well. It's all right. You're going to keep both the legs forward. Then let your hips sink. Grab the toes, back straight, and make sure that you have a nice stretch on the back of the legs. All right? Okay, facing. <laughs> Let's go. Side. Three, two, and one. Let's go, guys. Okay. Feeling a little bit of soreness today, so I'm gonna scale down a little and hold from the shins. Right. I mean, some of the athletes can really go all the way. It's fine if you're not able to. It's all good. Respect, you know, what the, the limitations that you have and try to improve on that on a daily basis. All right, guys. We're done with this one. A stand up tall and proud, right? Right. Wow, good job, you all. Amazing stuff. Excellent work. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You just finished this full body cardio session. Heart rate was off the charts, right? But we didn't give up. We persevered and we got through it rep by rep, second by second, and we completed it, right? Four rounds. Amazing stuff, guys. Okay. All right, now make sure that you know you check that energy score, energy meter, right? And then you just give us a shout out on social media and you tell us what you felt about this workout. From our side, it was amazing, guys. You guys have done excellent. That's right. And a small tip before we conclude, we always tell you to hydrate, right? That doesn't necessarily always mean water. You can even substitute with cucumber water, with coconut water, yeah. you know, anything that makes you feel refreshed, lime juice. But, you know, just keep sipping on some liquid to rejuvenate and you're good to go. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, on that note, we'll sign up for today. Like we said, it's been amazing, guys. Keep coming in for these sessions. Keep sweating it out and feel stronger. That's right? right. We're going to do our closing ritual. We are called Loud, Proud, Big Smiles and with a punch. Okay, okay. let's do that. Ready? Ready. In three, two, one, we are called. Thank you, take care and goodbye. For more workout videos, download the Cult Fit app now and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, We Are Cult.